Climate on the earth varies in different regions and climate plays a great effect on all living organisms. So, animals are adapted to survive in these conditions. When we say adaptation, adaptation means the ability of an organism to develop certain features. These features will help them to survive in the environment in which they live. For example, animals living in very hot and cold climate have some special features to protect themselves from extreme heat and cold. Adaptations are of three types, structural adaptations, behavioral adaptations and physiological adaptations. Structural adaptation means the adaptation of special body parts of an organism which helps them to survive in its natural habitat. For example, in case of chameleon, chameleon has camera-like eyes which help them to focus on their prey and it has a long tongue. So it can launch its tongue like a projectile and catch the prey. Or in case of bear whose body is covered with fur to protect them from extreme cold. A behavioral adaptation is something an animal does or how an animal acts in response to some type of external stimulus. For example, frogs, bear undergoes hibernation or also called winter sleep during hard winter season. Or some migratory birds fly towards south during winter time to the summer places to avoid the extreme cold. Physiological adaptations are how the animal's body functions on the inside. It includes changes in the cell, biochemical processes which is inside an animal's body. For example, snakes and spiders produce venom to paralyze their prey, which makes them easier to digest the prey. And also many fish, reptiles are cold-blooded which help them to live in the cold water environment. The features habits or special characteristics that help an animal to adapt to their surrounding or the environment are a result of a long process of evolution. So according to their habitat, animals adapt themselves. These animals may be grouped as polar region and tropical rainforest animals. So the first one is the polar region. As the name suggests, these are situated near the poles that is North Pole and South Pole. The countries that belong to the North region are Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Alaska which is in USA, Siberia region of Russia. Polar regions show extremely colder climate which is covered with snow and remain cold for most part of the year. In this region, the sun doesn't set for 6 months and even doesn't rise for other six months. The temperature goes down below minus 37 degrees Celsius during winters. The ground remains frozen most of the year and water becomes available or in during short summer when snow melts. Mosses and short-lived flowering plants grow in these regions. Animals living in these regions are adapted in different ways to cope with the condition of temperature, light, moisture and also availability of food in that region. Polar bear, penguins, whale, seals are the animals that live in polar regions. Some fishes, foxes, musk oxen, reindeer and birds also live in polar region. Let's take a look at the adaptations in polar bear. Polar bear is a large and white bear that lives in the north polar region of the earth and mainly feeds on fish and seal and can survive in the extremely cold climate of the polar region because they have some special adaptation in their body. As we see, polar bear are white in color. Their body is covered by a thick coat of white fur. It helps them to blend with their surrounding snow white background and cannot be noticed by the predator. Beneath the fur, 
is a thick coat of fat which insulate the body from cold and keep the beer warm this thick layer of fat beneath the skin also stores food in winter polar bear hibernate so during that time this stored food help the polar bear to survive in the winter they have a strong sense of smell so that they can locate their prey very easily they also have small ears to keep the body surface area to the minimum and reduce the heat loss from the body polar bear is a very good swimmer they have wide and large paws that help it to swim these paws also help them to walk on the snow easily while swimming under water it can close its nostrils and can remain under water for long durations another well known animal living in the polar region is the penguin which can survive due to different adaptations let's take a look at its adaptations first of all these are black and white in color which merges well with the white background of the snow their skin is thick and have a thick layer of fat below their skin which protect them from extreme cold their body is streamlined and the wings are flipper like they have web feet which makes them a very good swimmer This adaptation also help penguin to catch its prey which is fish. You must have seen or noticed that penguin live together in a large number and they huddle together. So why do they do so? The reason of huddling is to keep themselves warm. There are many animals in the polar region that can survive during extreme cold. But birds must remain warm to survive so they migrate to some other warmer places when the winter sets in and come back when the winter is over this is called migration migration is a seasonal journey taken by different animals or birds to escape the extreme climatic conditions or in the search of food for example siberian crane migrates toward warmer region in the autumn by traveling several thousands of kilometers they are seen in bharatpur rajasthan and sultanpur in haryana and sometimes in the wetland of northeast and other parts of india sometimes these migratory birds travel as much as 15000 km to escape the extreme climatic conditions of their habitat the second region is the tropical rainforest The tropical region lies near both the sides of equator line on the earth. These regions are hot but get plenty of rainfall. Therefore, this region is humid. Even in coldest month, the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degrees Celsius. And during hot summers, the temperature may cross 40 degrees Celsius. Days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year. Tropical rainforest is the important feature of tropical region. These regions are rich in vegetation and large diversity of animals is also seen in this region. In India, tropical rainforests are found in Western Ghats and Assam. Other countries in the world like Southeast Asia, Central America, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Republic of Congo, Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria and Central Africa also have tropical rainforest. The major type of animals living in the rainforest are monkeys, apes, gorillas, tigers, elephants, leopards, lizards, snakes, birds and insects. Since there are large number of animals found in these regions there is an intense competition for food and shelter among these animals so the animals are adapted in such a way that they eat different kinds of food and live in different kinds of places to overcome the competition for food and shelter let's take a look at the adaptations which help animals to survive in this region and the common animal is elephant Elephant is a well-known animal of Indian tropical rainforest. 
These are herbivore. It means they eat plants. and they are adapted in many remarkable ways to survive in the tropical rainforest the elephant has a long trunk which is used as nose and they have a strong sense of smell this trunk also helps elephant to pick up the food and also used in breathing it can reach up to the branches of trees and help it to eat tree leaves it is also used for sucking water from the lakes and river elephant also has long pointed teeth called tusk and these are used in tearing the bark of tree which the elephant loves to eat as food it also help elephant to fight their enemies and protect themselves they have large ears that help it to hear even very soft sounds and can sense the danger these ears also work like a fan and keep the elephant cool during the hot and humid climate The feet of elephant is large and round which help it to provide good stability and also prevent it from sinking into soft ground due to the heavy weight. Next take a look at the adaptations in lion and tiger. These are also called big cats and are carnivore. It means they eat only flesh of other animals. So first thing you must have noticed the skin color. They have thick skin and this skin color also helps them to camouflage the yellow brown color of lion and the black stripes of tiger helps them to hide in the forest by blending with the surrounding it helps these carnivore to catch their prey they also have a strong sense of smell and a strong sense of hearing which also helps them to locate their prey they have eyes in front of their head which enables them to have a correct idea of the location of the prey and they also have a very good eyesight they have strong legs which help them to run very fast and have long sharp and strong claws in front of their legs which help them to catch and tear their prey another common animal found in tropical rainforest is the monkey the monkeys living in tropical rainforest have long tails for grasping branches so they can move easily from one place to another place their hands and feet are adapted in such a way so they can easily hold the branches of the tree the eyesight of monkeys is also very good which helps them in leaping between the branches to escape from their predator they eat fruits seeds leaves root and insect as their food which is present in abundance in tropical rainforest Next in the list is the lion tail macaque. It is also called as the beard ape because it has a silver white mane which surrounds the head from the cheek down to its chin which is a specific characteristic of this animal. We know that rainforests receive a lot of rainfall. This mane helps to keep the rain out of macaque face which allow it to keep searching for food easily. no matter what season it is it lives in the rainforest of western ghats in india it is also called lion tailed because its tail is like lion having a bunch of hair at the end they spend most of their time feeding in the upper canopy of trees it mainly feeds on fruits seeds young leaves stems flowers and buds and they also eat insects present under the bark of the tree it rarely comes down on the ground and spends a major part of its life on the trees it is a good climber with its hand and feet are adapted to hold the branches of trees firmly as the large variety of animals live in rainforest so there is a intense competition for food and shelter therefore many organisms have adapted themselves to live on the trees one such example is red eyed frog they have sticky pads on their feet that help them to climb trees as it doesn't live in water and has a green back and creamy underside it has big and bulging bright red eyes these bulging eyes of frog protect it from predator The sudden opening of big and bright red eyes frightened the predator for a while 
and in the meantime the frog get time to jump to a safe place and the green color of the frog helps it to hide within the green leaves of the tree and helps it to protect from predator it is nocturnal and it sleeps during the day and become active during night and feeds on the insects present on the tree as there is always competition for food there are some animals who are adapted to get food which is not easily reachable one of the striking example is of a bird named toucan toucan has a long and large beak which helps it to reach the fruits attached to the end of even thin branches of trees it is an adaptation of this bird to get the unreachable fruits Its large beak also helps in temporary storage of fruits which is collected by toucan. Toucan is a colorful bird and it can even change the color of its feather so as to get mixed up with the surrounding and they are not easily noticed by the predators and remain safe. Their feet are also adapted for grasping the branches of the trees firmly. for food there are some animals that live with limited diets one such example is the leaf cutter ants we can say that these ants actually grow their own food leaf cutter ants are capable of carrying objects that are several times heavier than their own body weight they use this ability to carry pieces of leaves from high trees to their underground habitats then they bury the leaves underground and after some time when the leaf decomposes the fungi grows and they eat this fungi now we know living organism has some special characteristics or features which helps them to adjust in their new surrounding whether it is whatever reason it is whether it is polar region or tropical rainforest or desert So these adaptations play a major role in the survival of the organism. Hope you learn something new today and enjoy the lesson. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. And thanks for watching.